In today's video, I'm going to be helping out you guys who are having air conditioning problems, or at least you might think you're having air conditioning problems with your BMW. So this little trick I'm going to show you is pretty much like a 50-50 chance of fixing your air conditioning issue with your car. And I've experienced this years ago with my dad's E34. Uh, my brother has had an issue with it in the past, and even as recent as this past May, uh, once it started getting warm here in Connecticut, uh, my wife had an issue with her X5. This is the X5 I'm sitting in right now. And she had an issue with the AC not being that cold. So uh, with the AC on, this temperature is turned all the way down as low as it can go here. And even so, with that, with that done, you might have an issue with this scrolling wheel right here. So this is... Uh, Called, referred to as the knurled wheel according to the BMW owner's manual and as you can see here there's a red dot and also a blue dot and so if you scroll this all the way up towards the heat side of things that's going to adjust uh, it's basically an infinitely adjustable temperature control for the HVAC system and if you have a friend or someone in the car who's uh, maybe in the over the winter or the fall they said "Ooh, you know it's uh, the heat is too hot for me and they reach around and they they start uh, adjusting the knobs here and adjusting the vents away from them quickly without understanding exactly what the center uh, the center vent does and so that could lead to this being scrolled all the way up in the hot position here this is as far as it goes and that will limit how cold your air conditioning gets on BMWs. Basically, since the E30, my E20, I think has one, my E90, this is an E53, basically all BMWs have this adjustable knob in the center here. And this can play tricks with you if it accidentally gets moved into the heated position here and your AC is not gonna be as cold as it can get. And so that was the case with my wife's car that we're in now. Fortunately, all I had to do was come out to the car, check this and make sure I scrolled it all the way down, all the way down here to the blue. And that made a huge difference, maybe 10 or 20 degrees uh, in effect of how cold the air is. So if you're having AC problems in your BMW, before you go take it to the shop or diagnose anything, the first thing you should do is just take it right to uh, to your driveway and make sure that you scroll this all the way into the blue position. All right, here is the E53 owner's manual. And if I open it up here to page 107, let's take a look at the official description here, according to BMW. This is the center uh, ventilation vent. That's that right there. And as you can see, the, uh, the knob marked number three it says, use this knurled wheel to adjust the temperature of the incoming air. Turn toward blue for colder, and obviously turn toward red for warmer. So that's all that there is to it. Um, before you guys take this to a shop or start asking for help and you think you have AC problems, all you need to do is adjust this wheel. Um, if it's summertime and you need colder AC, scroll this all the way towards blue, and if you are not getting heat in your car and you're having a heat issue the first thing you should check is that this uh, you know come this fall don't forget to turn this back up to the heat and that should take care of it as always i hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was please let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video